Hello YouTube, welcome to Accounting 101 with T. Today we are going to be doing an adjustment from the 2022 question paper. This is the DBE, grade 12 question paper, accounting paper 1. This is going to come from the November 2022 question paper. We're going to be focusing on the question on the rent income adjustment. Adjustment number 6. Uh, a tenant has been leasing office space on the premises since March 2022. Tenant has been renting office spaces since March 2022. She has paid rent until 30th April 2022. Note that the monthly amount was reduced by 1350 with effect from 1 January 2022. So as we can see, a tenant has been leasing, leasing the premises since March 2020. She has paid rent until 30th April 2022, simply meaning that the rent we received, we received rent in advance. So she paid rent in advance. So there's an extra month that we need to take out from our rent that's in on our trial balance. That's all. Our trial balance. So on our trial balance, we have one hundred and eighty-three thousand six hundred rents. So this six hundred, this one hundred and eighty-three thousand six hundred rents, simply means that the rent that we received in advance it is included in this amount of money. So so now we have to take it out. So there is another case of the monthly amount that was reduced which was reduced by 1350 with effect from 1 January 2022 so this is what we're going to do we are going to first calculate how much was the rent um, from 1 April 1 January 2022 up until 30th April 2022 the reduction how much was it all in all so that we can add it back to the amount on our trial balance which is the 183,600 hope you are together on that one so going to say so we are going to say 1350 times 4 which is 1 January up until 30th of April it's 1 January up until 30th of April yes so we're going to count from January February March April which is equal to four months hence we said four years so 1350 times four is going, it's going to give us 5400 so 5400 so 5400 this is the reduction amount this is the reduction amount reduction amount to our normal rent this is the reduction amount to our normal rent so we are going to add this reduction amount to the rent that's on our trial balance so it's 183,000 183,600 <clears throat> so how are we going to do it we are going to say 183,600 plus 5,400 it's giving us 189,000 rents so this 189,000 rents simply means that this is the amount of money of rent without 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 the reduction without the, the reduction uh -huh. without the reduction so what, what do I mean with, uh, with this so without the reduction it uh, it simply means that if the rent if this there was no there was no monthly amount that was reduced it simply means that on our trial balance we were going to have that amount of money it simply means that on our trial balance we were going to have this amount of money so this is without the reduction so now this amount on the trial balance which is this one 183,600 it represents 14 months why am i saying that because the rent was received for more than 12 months which is extra by two months which is going to be 14 months so it's going to be we're going to count from 1 march 2021 up until 30th feb 30th april 2022 yes because she paid rent until 30th april 2022 so it's going to be 14 months so for us to calculate how much was the rent before the decrease 
we have to divide this amount 189,000 rands 189 189,000 rands divide by the 14 months 14 months so Let's put the equal sign here. Divide by the 14 months. So we are getting a 13,500. So this 13,500 simply means this is the amount of money we have been receiving for rent each month before it was reduced. Before it was reduced. So on 1 January, we reduced the rent with 1350 so we have to take it out of this 13500 minus 1350 it's 12150 why am i doing this i'm doing this to get how much are we supposed to subtract from this amount of money that's in our trial balance so that we can have the rent income for the 12 months that we have so on our income statement, we're going to open brackets, we're going to record the 183,600. We're going to say minus, minus the 12,150, but it's not going to be 12,150. It should be 12,150 times 2 because it's for March and April that we are taking out of our current financial year. So the 12,150 is giving us 24,300. So we're going to record it on our subtracted on our rent income on the income statement. So it's going to be 24,300. So this 24,300 was simply the amount of money we have tried, we have been, we wanted to calculate. So we're going to say 183,600 minus 24,300. It's going to give us 159,300. 159,300. So this is the amount of money that you are going to record on your income statement. So in other cases, the 24,300, which we subtracted from our rent income for the year, we are, we are then going to record this 24,300 on your balance sheet. Not your balance sheet per se, but your trade and other receivables. It's trade and other payables, not receivables, payables, trade and other payables. So on your trade and other payables, you have your creditors, um, accrued expenses, and accrued no accrued expenses and prepaid income, which is the income received in advance. So we're going to say rent income received in advance in advance rent income received in advance so we're going to record it as it is it's 24,300 this is income received in advance so we are done with our adjustment so thank you thank you for tuning in please don't forget to like share and subscribe please click that subscribe subscribe button let's get to 1000 subscribers please click 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 that subscribe button thank you again if you have any questions don't forget to post them on the comment section thank you very much